everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art, and today I am participating in a hop with Peg Atkins Robinson and a bunch of other people. And her prompt for this for this hop is primitive. And I just kind of came up with this idea, and I would like to share it with you. I am using a piece of I'm starting out with a piece of wallpaper. Okay, um, you can get wallpaper books for free in a lot of cases from places like Sherwin Williams and all kinds of other decorating stores that um, when they stop uh, using, selling a particular line of paper, they will give the books away. This happens to be a, a, a vinyl -y kind of paper, so it's a fabric-backed vinyl is what it says, so it's nice and thick. Alrighty, I am back and now uh, I have some masking tape really wide and it is kind of old masking tape and I have a small container with some white um, PVA glue that I did add a little bit of water to to make it a little juicy and the reason I mentioned that I've had this tape for a while you know it's got sticky on it but uh, because of what I'm going to use this for, I want to make sure that it really sticks. So what I'm going to do is just put some some glue down on here and yes the glue is colored because before I started doing this I was actually painting with this brush. So yeah that's how I roll guys uh, lately. So I'm just going to get some paint on here or paint I mean glue painty glue and then I'm going to and I'm just putting a thin layer on here I'm going to apply the masking tape to this so all right guys I'm back I've got glue all over the surface of this wallpaper and you see I, I just chose a plain um, pattern sorry for that loud noise and this is pretty sticky but as I said I don't trust it uh, because, and now I'm just going to put my head in the way because I want to get this right at the end. I was thinking that because, and we're going crooked, but that's okay. I was thinking because this is like a vinyl um, wallpaper, it's really sturdy. It kind of reminds me of a canvas, like a heavy canvas. And so I am thinking you can do like all sorts of things with this uh, piece of paper, I think, after you make this. But I'm thinking of a book, a journal cover, because I love to make books. <laughs> and the other thing, if you don't know this about me, I will share. Uh, I am a big recycler. So I like to use the things that are around me in my life that are just sitting and collecting dust and this tape has been in my drawer forever like I said earlier and so I thought oh you know this might be interesting so I'm going to cover this whole page this whole piece of wallpaper with this tape alright I came back to show you that the tape uh, I put the tape on this way from right to left and then I used this um, thing that I have that I love uh, or you can use a credit card and I just kind of went over it like that to just kind of get the bubbles out or to make sure that it was really secure securely attached and I'm going to let it dry but um, I you can still see the words okay so that's okay that doesn't bother me so the next thing I decided to do, and I did start to do, and forgot to turn the camera back on, was I'm going to take the tape and I'm going to um, just start uh, putting another layer on, on top of it, randomly, okay? So just to give some more interest to it, um, my thoughts at this particular moment, and let me say that 
I just had this idea and I didn't try it out ahead of time so I'm trying it out here with you guys and if it doesn't work out it will never get published <laughs> so um, this I'm thinking is going to be my right side and this is going to be the inside but who knows that might change all right I came back because I trimmed up uh, the square uh, the piece of wallpaper with the tape on it and I've got all these little crisscross pieces of um, masking tape on there and I started to fold it in half as you can see the crease mark and I decided I thought I would like a little square book cover so I cut it in half all right I came back I decided to leave the camera on and put some paint on this so you can watch me and I because when I think of primitive I think of vintage and I think of a, I don't know brown <laughs> so I'm just kind of you see what I'm doing I'm just kind of making a mess here I'm wiping it on and I think uh, no I don't think I know I'm gonna put a little water on there to make it more opaque not opaque transparent it's been a rough few days guys all right, I came back. I put a little black on here. I kind of wanted to show it to you um, as I'm progressing. So I just put some black on, rubbed it around, wiped it with this. Okay, I am absolutely falling in love with this. It is starting to remind me of leather, and that's what it feels like, and that was not my original intention at all. But the masking tape is wrinkling up a little bit in spots, of course, because I didn't let any of this dry, as you recall. But I am absolutely loving it, just loving it. And um, it's really nice and sturdy, so it does feel like leather, and I think it would make an awesome book cover. I think you can do a lot of other things with it as well, but um, that's what I'm going to do with it. She's back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I'm not finished with this um, texturing on my cover, but I decided to add some masking tape around uh, the edge. Okay, I wanted to show you I have the tape all the way around all four sides, and now I'm going to put the paint on. Righty dighty, I'm back, and boy, if I had thought this through, I might have done it a different way, but I, uh, I absolutely am in love with, with the way it looks, and I've got you uh, zoomed in to see it, so uh, remember I put the tape around the outside edge, that was the last thing I did, there it was, so I took my brush, and I'm dry brushing this stuff, basically, and I used some brown paint just to give that some color to have it finished off and kind of wiped it you know with this rag and then this side I the, the last thing I did was I took uh, some daddy vans um, furniture polish it's beeswax so basically I just wanted to give it a little bit of a shine like leather would have so I'm just kind of going over it like that And I'm going to buff it with a nice dry rag. And I think I'm very happy with it. Yeah, it. <laughs> I wish you could feel it. It feels like leather for sure. I am going to use red because when I think of primitive, I think of red. So I'm going to just do some stitching uh, around the outside or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to use this embroidery floss and when I get it started I will come back and show it to you and I hope so far you're having a good time because I am <laughs> okay I'm back and I'm losing my light as usual but I wanted to show you how cute it came out um, I did little stitching all the way around with some red embroidery floss and then I poked three holes in the cover and put an eyelid in there, put a piece of elastic and another piece for the cover to close it. And 
you put your paper in like this. And it's a cute little notebook, right? And um, I thought the cover was kind of plain, so I decided to put, I have this tin here of these rusty um, washers. So I decided to put a couple of them on there and I just glued them on with E6000 and there you have it. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day full of love and art and I will see you again soon. Bye.